Buongiorno, called the pop community. It's Steven. Uh, love you. <laughs> Personally, it feels like a symbolism for all that we've gotten to do. I mean, that song kind of opened the door for a new record, you know, seeing the world the way that we've gotten to and playing sold out shows across the States and in Australia and in Europe and uh, you know, it enabled a new record and it became the inspiration for a brand new record, uh, Angel Face. And um, there's, I mean, artist relationships like uh, with Elton John and with Tom O'Dell and, you know, seeing love stories and, and weddings from across the world, you know, happen. It feels like a symbol of love. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm far less concerned about what people think about me when it comes to making music. I think I just, I'm such a perfectionist that I want to be able to be a fan of the music that I'm releasing. Like I want to be able to listen to it and be like, oh this is good. Like I like this, I could listen to it if it wasn't mine. And uh, I think with that mentality, there's far less concern for everybody else's opinion. I just care about mine when I'm making it. And so I think when it comes to staying true, I think it just comes naturally from that place of just wanting so badly to make something that when I'm 80, I can look back, or even 40 and I'm, I'm not playing music anymore, I can look back and be like, wow, I was really proud of that. And it's because I liked it. And, and then people liked it. Because I think people can tell when you're being authentic and genuine and when you're not. I think that's all I've ever tried to be with the music and, and you know, I have such a respect for that 50 sound and I've been listening to it for so long that making a record like that felt very natural, you know, and accidental, you know, with Until I Found You and everything inspiring it. Artists like Roy Orbison are big for me, he wrote all of his own songs um, and if he ever wrote with somebody else it was with family, which is very cool. And you know, influences like Marty Robbins, you know, he's got that kind of country spaghetti western sound which we implemented a lot of into the new record and um, I would say a lot of those artists for sure. I love the conceptual road that I've kind of been going on with records and I think this next one's going to be really a very personal story, very very, um, it's going to have characters. I'm still formulating it so I won't share too much about it but it's going to be a mini movie that's like tied to an, a full length album and uh, there'll be characters and it'll be about love, loss, and redemption and all those things. Um, just kind of the more real parts of life than just the, um, the dramatics and the fictional uh, elements of Angel Face. This one will feel more real and authentic and I think more um, honest. Be very honest, yeah. Very excited for it. <laughs>